It's been almost a year since Red Dead Redemption 2's last trailer, but now Rockstar has finally pulled back the curtain a little more for their follow-up to 2010's critically acclaimed western. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, pause this video, watch it, and then come back here. If you haven't finished Red Dead Redemption, beware because there will be spoilers. Alright, let's get to it. This trailer opens up with a few shots of a lush frontier and a man riding into frame. We find out shortly after that this man is Arthur Morgan, a wanted fugitive, a debt collector of sorts for a gang, and most likely the playable character. In the next scene, we see a woman mourning in front of a grave, and Morgan is talking to a young man. Morgan says, Maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. This scene could be a number of things, but I think the woman is Abigail Marston and the boy is Jack Marston. It may sound like I'm pulling at threads here, but the boy looks like he could be an older Jack Marston before you step into his shoes at the end of one. This does complicate the timeline a bit, but we'll get to that later. Next, we see a quick shot of what's presumably the Vanderlyn gang, John Marston's old gang from the first preparing to hold up a train. This is followed by a shot of Morgan saying they are wanted in three different states. Judging by the landscape we've seen in this trailer in the first, it seems obvious that Red Dead Redemption 2 will take place further north than the first. Probably a representation of Northern California and Oregon. If the map that leaked earlier is to be trusted, then it looks like we will be able to revisit some northern parts of Red Dead Redemption's world, like the Great Plains and Tall Trees, as well as travel further north. The landscapes we've seen so far seem to support this. Next, we are back at the train robbery. The most notable thing about this shot is this silhouette back here. He looks a lot like Bill Williamson, who is one of the men John was hunting throughout the first game. <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. After some more shots of the terrain, we are back on Morgan, and he looks to be robbing a bank. This is a Rockstar game after all, so a bank robbing scene would make sense. Shortly after, we get a brief glimpse of a character who offers to be an extra gun for hire. We don't know much about this character, but it kinda begs the question, will GTA 5 style heist be in Red Dead 2? Given that you're an outlaw, it wouldn't surprise me, however, if it is present, I doubt it will be as prominent as it is in GTA 5. Here are some smaller things worth pointing out in the next few shots. There are crocodiles, we might be able to swim, which you couldn't do in the last game, and you can get a bow and arrow. The next key character we are introduced to is this woman. Bonnie McFarland, a key ally in the first game, comes to mind, but it's hard to say if that's her. It could be a younger or older Bonnie, but I don't think it sounds like her. However, shortly after, we get a shot of Morgan lassoing a horse in front of a ranch house. While this house doesn't quite match up with the McFarland ranch house, it does have some similarities. If we do end up revisiting the McFarland ranch, then I have a feeling we will see Bonnie again. And finally, we get a shot of Dutch, the antagonist and one who ultimately dies. This means that Red Dead Redemption 2 will in fact take place before 1, but based on that boy and the widow we see earlier, I think this game will take place both before, during, and after the first. The biggest issue with this theory though is where was Morgan during Red Dead Redemption 1? If he was part of the gang, why didn't Marston mention him? Maybe he died before the events of 1. Unfortunately, we won't know the answer to these questions until Red Dead Redemption 2 launches in Spring 2018. I am beyond hyped for this game, and I've probably already watched the trailer at least a dozen times. But I'm sure I've missed a few things. If you see anything else, drop it in the comments, or hit me up on Twitter at JacobDeck. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps us out. Thank you.